Hi, it's Javi Rappaport here and Torah Wisdom to Go. The wisdom of Torah to hear and share with a friend. You know the line. Recording right here in New York, noisy New York, in a sukkah. Of course, where else? So what's of paramount importance? Is it the head or the neck? Of course we think the head, but let's take a closer look. Zot HaBracha, Moshe's blessing all of the tribes of Israel. And now we refer to Binyamin. And he says, Uven Ketefaf Yishkon, referring to the Bet HaMikdash, which will be in his plot, which will rest between his shoulders, alluding to the neck. It's really strange, because if you think of importance, significance, height, don't you think of the head above the neck? Why would the Bet HaMikdash be residing uven k'tefaf, between his shoulders, meaning again, the neck? In fact, Mount Har Moria, Mount Moriah, is 23 cubits lower than the spring of Etan, and that's purposefully. And also, when David HaMelech was looking for a place to build the Bet HaMikdash, he specifically said, it cannot be the highest point in Eretz Yisrael. This is all very perplexing. God's exclusive domain, dwelling home in this earth, the holiest site, should be at the head. Why does the Torah insist? Between the shoulders, the neck. Well, let's take a deeper look. The head, of course, the root, the origin of the life energy and source, and also the seat of our intellect. What could be greater? But then again, where would it go without the neck? The neck siphons the energy down to the rest of the body so that it's usable. It's life-sustaining. And the intellect, same is true. It must filter through the neck down to the heart, and from there it is acted upon. So what starts out in the head only is expressed, comes to fruition once it passes by the neck. And this is the function, the entire purpose of the Bet HaMikdash, the center that takes all of the spirituality, God's energy, God's essence, and sends it out to the rest of the world. That is why the windows faced outwards, so that the light of the Bet HaMikdash can be spread to the outside world. And guess what? Who's the Bet HaMikdash today? We don't have the physical one, the building, but it's you and I. We are the Bet HaMikdash, and our function is to be the neck to take the spirituality around us, the godliness that we experience, that we see in our own interactions or just out in the world and send it out so that the world becomes a brighter place, so that people can be inspired. So the head or the neck, I would say synchrony. And that's our takeaway. That's our personal takeaway. Let's be a neck. Stretch out your neck to send the message of the head all around. And of course, our message now is the message of joy. Joy of the mitzvah, joy of the Torah, joy of just being who we are. Have an incredible holiday.